All right, Hurricane Review is back. No longer having to record on my cell phone, so that's good. Sorry, this is a couple days late. I had food poisoning and was feeling the lingering effects of being sick for about the past two days. Um, I was able to watch the Canes game, but I did feel sick, and I just I wasn't up for recording. And then it's up later today because I figured, you know, I'd make it up to you guys by not filming on my cell phone anymore. So here we are. Now, on to the the Hurricanes game itself. It is the first loss. I don't think there's a need to be overly reactionary. But there are some things that, you know, with any loss you can learn from. And I don't think it's worth getting angry. I wasn't even angry when they lost. They won three in a row. As long as they can come back against Calgary. Calgary might be a little different. And then if we lose another game after Calgary, then you'll start seeing me get a little angry. However, it's fine. You're not going to win every game. No team in hockey history has ever come close to 82-0. So, yeah. But on to the Hurricanes game itself. And, yeah, I mean, I think it was a lot of it came down to the Canes just couldn't contain the offense of the Oilers. The Oilers came out. They are ready to play. Carolina actually had a strong first two minutes, and then after that, the Oilers came out. And... You know, it was a lot of the Hurricanes' defense. I thought Brady Shane particularly played a really weak game, especially the goal where Freddie Anderson came out to play the puck. He had no sense of urgency getting to the puck, and the Oilers' forecheck just overwhelmed him um, because he didn't do the work there because he thought he was safe. I don't know how. The whole time I was going, oh, shit. But Brady Shea thought he would, and, you know, I had the um, point of view of a god, basically, when you're watching it on TV. So there was that as well. But, I mean, he just he misread the play, and I don't think he had a good night at all. We kept taking stupid penalties when he ha when we had the momentum. Uh, the shorthanded goal, I think, was a struggle on the back check by Natchez and a miscommunication with him and Brent Burns. If Natchez was tired and just couldn't skate fast enough, when Brent Burns pointed to Natchez to cover that guy because I got the puck, Natchez should have yelled no, no, no. or And Brent Burns should have probably read it. Natchez, I do think, had a good game in general. But Natchez, I mean, I've said it a million times. I don't want to keep saying it, but it really stood out. He'll make one beautiful, great play, typically an offensive play, one in the game. And then the same game, he'll make a terrible defensive play. I mean, it's just he goes back and forth. And I do think he was at fault for the Brent Burns goal. You know, Slavin, I thought, played well. Jalen Chatfield also, I thought, had a great game. I don't think Jalen Chatfield has missed. If I was Rod Brindamore, which, you know, let's be glad I'm not, because I would probably do a terrible job running a hockey team, I would give Jalen Chatfield the top four defensive spot. I know I'm not alone in that thinking process. But, yeah, I think Jalen Chatfield, he's played good all four games. Brady Shea had a weak game. You know, Brady Shea is probably a better defenseman than Jalen Chatfield, but why Brady Shea may be playing a little bit slow right now. Why not give uh, Jalen Chatfield a look at Brett, Fesh, Brett Pesci's D partner? Just for, you know, the specific game. He's played well three games. I, I don't think he should ever be sat. I think out of all the top six defensemen, he stood out as one of the best. So, yeah, I would, uh, you know, going again uh, the, into the game against Calgary tonight. That's what I would personally do. And, you know, uh, on to it. Andrei Svechnikov, he almost willed the Canes to win. I think, I mean, he got a hat trick. I think that's the first time I remember watching a game where someone scored a hat trick and they still lost. But I could be wrong on that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Andrei Svechnikov played a beautiful game in the Hurricanes' loss. Sorry, I'm trying to recall the memory. It's been two days since I did watch the game. Um, but again, unfortunately, I was sick. But yeah, I mean, Svechnikov got the hat trick. Svechnikov more than earned hurricane of the game for me. Um, I don't really, he didn't bail the Canes out a lot this game. I mean, you do need that, a goalie that can bail you out. I don't think Freddie could do a lot about the goals, but I mean, you still need a goalie that can bail you out. And Jack Campbell, even though we got four goals, other than what Svechnikov was shooting, shut the door. I think Jack Campbell just outplayed Freddie that game. So that's another aspect of the game. But yeah, this was kind of a story of just the defense not being able to contain offense, which is weird because this team is built on its defense. You look at the second line, which has been the great line just on paper coming into the season. It was our weak point, and it has been a standout thus far. 
I think Brendan Moore made the right uh, call switching Stashney and Martinuk. Martinuk, I think, uh, I don't think Martinuk should ever play in the top six. I do agree with a lot of people there, but I think Martinuk's good depth. And, you know, if Stashney wasn't playing well, you know, put Martinuk in there. So, yeah, I mean, it's a loss. There are some lessons to take from it. <laughs> That's staying in. Uh, but if the Hurricanes can do one thing, it's learn from it, go into Calgary. Unfortunately, Buffalo did a great job pissing off another Alberta team that is scary good right now. And I, I watch Calgary against Colorado, and they have a little bit of a scary core. And Buffalo pissed off another team, but Carolina should be pissed off as well, particularly Svechnikov. I thought Toivo also had a weak game. I'd like to see Tara Vinen have a bounce back. I think Tara Vinen in the top six, shockingly, has been the weak point because Kock and Yemi, and for the most part, Natchez have absolutely proved me wrong about being in the top six. I'm not complaining. But yeah, we'll see how it goes for game for the game tonight against Calgary. I'll see you guys later tonight for that game because hopefully I will not get food poisoning. So I'll see you guys then. Oh, and if you guys like the content I'm producing on the channel, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, that should be it.